description here are the materials you will need for this project. Go ahead and pause the video if you need to take notes. I'll add that the tissue paper I used was 20 inch by 20 inch and there are 8 sheets of each color. First you'll want to take your tissue paper and cut them into long thin strips. In this example my strips are approximately 2 inches wide by 20 inches long. Next, make your long strips shorter by cutting them into thirds. Make the paste by mixing equal parts flour and water. Add flour to your empty cup first, then add the water little by little while stirring until you get the consistency of a thick, creamy soup. For the setup, blow up balloon to desired size. Tie dental floss to the tied off end of the balloon. Tie other end of dental floss to any object that will allow the balloon to hang freely. Using your paintbrush, apply paste to the balloon. Then add your first strip of yellow tissue paper. Apply more paste to the top of the tissue paper, making sure it's completely saturated in the paste. Work your way around the balloon with more strips of yellow tissue paper, creating a patchwork pattern. Continue until you have applied two layers of tissue paper. Now repeat the entire process using green tissue paper. In the end, you will have four layers of tissue paper, two layers of yellow, and two layers of green. Allow your balloon to dry for 24 to 48 hours, or until dry to touch. Now that your balloon is dry, take your pencil and draw the face of your jack-o'-lantern. In the very center of the balloon's face, begin to draw a semicircle to outline the bottom of your nose. Connect two more semicircles to make up the nostrils. The top of the nose should be centered at about one quarter down from the top of the balloon. Connect the top of your nose to the two nostrils as illustrated in this video. To create the eyes, make two large circles centered about one quarter down from the top of the balloon mirrored on each side of the nose. Inside of each circle, create a semicircle to make up the eyelids. Then, draw on large circular pupils below the lids. The mouth should be centered below the nose, about a quarter of the way up from the bottom of the balloon. Create a rounded M shape for the top of the lips. The corners of the mouth should be positioned in the center point of the balloon and below the outside edge of each eye. Follow my example as I connect the corners of the mouth to the M shape to create the top lip. Make a wide U shape to create the lower lip. Once lips are in place, Draw a line running horizontally between the top and lower lip, making two rows of teeth. Leave a little more room on top so that the upper row of teeth is bigger than the lower. Now, draw on the teeth. Make sure to leave wide gaps between the teeth. It's okay to sketch them in thick. Any pencil marks in the gaps will get covered over with paint in a later step. Using your X-Acto knife, make your first incision, popping the balloon. 
Then, remove the balloon. Now you can begin cutting out the face beginning with the nose. Next, cut out the whites of the eyes on either side of the pupils. Then, carefully cut out each tooth. You will want to take this nice and slow. Be sure to leave thick gaps between each tooth as seen in the video. Once complete, this is what your jack-o'-lantern's face should look like. Be sure to cut a hole at the top of the jack-o'-lantern, big enough for your hand to fit through. Grab your paints, painter's palette, and paintbrushes. Starting with the black paint and your smallest size paintbrush, carefully paint in the lips. paint in the pupils of the eyes, as well as a line to define the lower edge of the eyelids. Next, paint two circles to define the outer edge of your eyes. Paint a shadow around the right edge and bottom side of the nose. Then we will create a dramatic dark shadow around and between the eyes. Its shape will be similar to a barbell. Continue using the black paint to draw on the outer edge of the hairline. The line should begin at a point at the top edge of the lantern above the outmost edge of the eyes. The line should swoop down as shown and stop slightly above and right of the top outer edge of your mouth. Paint in sideburns and ears as shown here. Make sure to mirror your lines on each side of the face. Then you will want to continue the hairline downwards at an angle. The hairline in the back should be about one quarter up from the bottom of the lantern. Above the eyes, paint in the bangs. Once the hairline has been defined, go ahead and paint in the hair. You may want to switch to a larger paintbrush to speed up this process. Lastly, use a smaller size paintbrush to paint in a messy fringe along the bottom half of the hairline. Using your red paint, paint in the gaps of the teeth. Then, paint in a scar on the forehead above one eye. Next, 
next, we will add a handle. To do this, take your X-Acto knife and create a small hole on either side of the head, about one to two inches below the top of the lantern. Now take each pipe cleaner and create a double knot on one side. Using the opposite end of the pipe cleaner, thread it through the hole from the inside of the lantern out. Do this on each side. Then, taking the free ends, tie them together until they hold fast. You're now ready to grab your fairy lights, turn them on, and drop them in your Herman Monster inspired jack o' lantern. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. You may also like a video I made called How to Make a Paper Mache Pumpkin Lantern. If you'd like to view my artwork, please go to my website, ChristinaKoskiArt.com. All scenes were shot in the West Bottoms of Kansas City. Thanks for watching.